Hey there, how's it going? What is up, everybody? Irish Orangutan is back to pass along what you need to know to get better at Madden and grow your Mutt team. Enjoy the show. Today, we'll be going through the top 12 quarterbacks that you can be adding to your team. This list is going to be something that I will be trying to carry through this year and going through different positions. As you see, Kyler Murray up at number 12. Um, at 11 at 12 this year, I'm probably going to do a little bit of a budget player there um, at both those positions to kind of let you know um, what you can do with potentially a side team or a team that you're just trying to grow um, and try to make the best of them. Also going through these quarterbacks, um, I've been watching a lot of PFF, uh, Pro Football Focus, so I'm going to try to have a little bit of that mindset. Something that they've been talking about is how you should be spending your salary cap on your team. All of us work really hard for our coins, so we all understand that it can be difficult at times to spend everything on a certain player. Um, I will be talking about the absolute best quarterbacks, and they will be making it onto the list. Um, because when you think about it, the top five quarterbacks, you can go out and spend most of your coins or most of your salary cap on, depending on if you're um, just starting out. So like a small budget team, like sadly the Colts who lost their quarterback and also don't spend all of their salary cap. So, um, or you could be someone like um, the Redskins or the Dallas Cowboy who spends all of their salary cap um, or someone who pulls a whole bunch of packs. So that could be more or less um, along your lines. But both of you um, will still want to have the best quarterbacks possible for your team. So I'll be talking about a slate of them um, starting at 12. Um, and once we get into 10, they won't necessarily be budget quarterbacks. They will actually be quarterbacks that can fit onto your team. And I'll be talking about how much coins you'll potentially have to use for them to kind of get slotted into that area. Um, another thing that we'll be thinking about um, with those um, slotting of quarterbacks is a middling quarterback um, that um, fits on a team that runs the ball more. Potentially you this year, since running the ball is something that is more viable. Um, it could be something that fits better for your team. So someone that'll be at the middle of the list. Um, won't give anything away, uh, but a couple players that'll be in the middle of the list might fit you a little bit better. So just think about what kind of a cap you have, and I'll be kind of talking about how they really are the best fits and really what makes them stand out per their value. Coming in at number 12, again, one of those budget players, but someone that you can fit in if you like running the ball a lot. He's going to come out and throw inconsistent passes for you. He's not going to fit on very many weekend league teams, but he can fit if you try to grind through solos, if you don't necessarily play on the hardest level, or if you just like running with your quarterback a significant amount and just like throwing go routes every once in a while to fast wide receivers, he probably could fit for your team, um, but just someone that also, you could have gotten him for free, and he will progress through the year if you were playing in Madden 19 and decided to have him. Thankfully, I have all 10 of those rookies, so we'll see how they progress through this year. Coming in at number 11, someone I have spoken about before, Ryan Tannehill. He does have a solid amount of speed, so he can get around a little bit. Again, unless you want to run the ball 95% of the time, I probably wouldn't take him into weekend league. But getting through some solo battles, he can really help you out. Um, he is someone that used to be a wide receiver, so he has a little bit of that athleticism. But also, he has a 72 deep accuracy with an 80 throw power. A lot better than Kyler Murray and a lot of those other uh, middle-of-the-line quarterbacks that you do have. And you can go out and get him for 2,000 coins. So if you are a farmer, he could be a perfect quarterback for you. Coming in at number 10, we have Lamar Jackson. The reason that he does make this list is because he will not break the bank for you necessarily with only being a 76 overall. And if you like to run the ball all the time, he can be that quarterback that come in, comes in excuse me, and fits for you with that 85 speed. He can help you out with those RPOs, um, completing those short passes. He does have that 80 throw power. Some of the other quarterbacks on this list that are 
as most people would be concerned, um, upper echelon quarterbacks have a little bit of lower throw power at this point. So this Lamar can be someone that actually can fit on your team, but he would be definitely one of those lower budget players again for you. Coming in at number nine, we have Ben Roethlisberger. Not someone that is going to blow you away with his speed by any means, but he does have a solid throw power at 86. He has that 80 deep accuracy, which will allow you to complete those passes. He is someone that is a bit of a statue, but he is going for training at an 85 overall with that 86 throw power. So if you can mind throwing in the pocket, he can be someone that can be special for you. Um, also, something that you should very much consider are these players like a Patrick Mahomes, like a Ben Roethlisberger, who have these things already built into their cards. Um, you can just add them to your X Factor players, get an idea of what you would potentially want um, on your team. And again, if you keep him in the pocket, he has that inside dead eye, sleight of hand. And he has that fearless X factor. Um, I am sad to say I have lost to one person who has had Ben Roethlisberger as their starter with my um, upper echelon team. He just stood in the pocket, made all those solid passes, and just took the thumps like he would in real life. Think Nick Foles as well. He just can take those hits and complete all the passes that you really do need. And if you like running the ball, he could be a perfect pocket passer for you to just come in and get those third down conversions that you really do need. Coming in at number eight, one of those more upper echelon quarterbacks um, that we first are able to talk about. He's the first one that is close to 90, and he does hit that 90 overall. He does... Um, have some wheels behind him. He is uh, around 250,000 coins, so really not going to break the bank. That's just a couple uh, weeks of solo battles and a little bit of grinding on the auction house to get this player, and he could potentially be a game changer for you. He could be a perfect West Coast passer, more or less. Um, he does have very good accuracy and that throw power, um, but you would have to do quite a bit um, to add those abilities, and all those will add cost to your players so getting past that Roethlisberger um, but he is a step ahead of him but he is five times the coin so it's just something to consider this Elway is a better quarterback um, but it just really is dependent on how much you really want to spend and how much um, you want to have an upper echelon team in one area this player you would have to invest a significant amount of your coins to be able to upgrade your passing game coming in at number seven it is sad to say um, or to have him this low on the list to be honest um, besides one other quarterback, which I will talk about later on, I think he probably is the best quarterback in the game, but he is three times the cost of John Elway with how um, extensive the run game is. I might be speaking a little bit for myself because I do like to run the ball and have been probably 60% run, I would assume. Um, I do like throwing the ball a little bit with Mahomes, but sorry, a little bit of a tangent. Um, unless you like throwing the ball 90% of the time, I would probably stay away from Kurt Warner. Something that he does allow you to do since he is um, up to that 93, he can get some of those abilities that really can make him stand out. He is a tremendous quarterback, as you can see straight down the line. His accuracies are just crazy, but his throw power is only 87, and he is only 58 speed. So you would have to be able to stand in the pocket with him and just anticipate where blitzes are coming from, make those adjustments at the line, but you would have the ability to do more with your wide receivers. So if you are someone that is in line with wanting the absolute best quarterback in the game and you are someone that doesn't run with your quarterback as much, Kurt Warner is the place that you need to go, but you would have to invest 700,000 coins in him, which would have to be all of a salary cap for no money spent player or a significant amount even for a person that pulls a lot of packs. 
Coming in at number six, we have Andrew Luck, a little bit of a man of the hour, to be honest. He has retired from the NFL at the age of 29, so that is a little bit crazy. I have talked a little bit about that, but just absolutely wish him the best, and hopefully he can get the recovery that he does need. But he does uh, make this list as well, being a little bit of a budget quarterback, has that speed on him as well, can get for him for a significant significant amount less than the Patrick Mahomes so just something to think about he could be someone that could fit a west coast or a run heavy scheme um, and be a little bit above some of those other guys he besides a little bit of the throw power um, is a little bit in line with the John Elway not quite as good um, do have to bear that out but um, definitely hits those accuracies better than Roethlisberger and has a significant speed boost on him coming in at number five we have Patrick Mahomes core elite card even though I don't really have any other quarterbacks to compare with besides Patrick Mahomes uh, he just kind of blows Alex Smith out of the water at this point um, he is a quarterback that can come in and get everything done for you that you really need. Um, a lot of people do have that 80 overall card. I think everyone might actually um, that you can use and use bazooka on him and just kind of test out um, those X factor abilities and just what you can to cut. Account- uh, kind of can do with him excuse me and if you just power him up to say his 88 overall version he is a very very good card as well so just something to keep in mind you don't necessarily need to go out and break the bank for the 90 overall Patrick Mahomes you can go out and get the best quarterback in the NFL for real and not break the bank for him um, and just get this 87 overall version again powering him up will um, cost you quite a bit as training has not dipped as low as it will um, or as it could, um, depending on what they bring out in the store, it could keep it high, but I anticipate it bowing out again as it was closer to 80 at the beginning of the game, and it's already at 40, so that is quite significant. But getting on to the next man. Coming in at number four, we have Russell Wilson. Um, I did go out and just purchase the power up and just wanted to show you um, what you kind of can get out of this player. Um, This is a player, if you are no money spent, um, kind of speaking to that crowd right now. Um, Also speaking to the no money. Uh, the money spenders as well uh, here in a second on the same card but you can play all the way through those 16 solos and get this player without spending any coin you can kind of get um, up to your max mutt level um, by going out and doing that but um, something that you can do also if you don't want to go and play through all those solos if you get the power up and then go out and get his uh, core elite card. You can get him powered up to this level, and then just kind of like we had done last year and are not going to be able to do for limited cards this year, um, just use training to get him up to his 87 overall, and that is a very inexpensive uh, cost for this good of a player, as you can see. Um, Has that 79 speed as well, And considering you can get him for free, just wanted to um, point that out. Also, his very low price um, with that. And if you just get his power-up use training, you can also use a power-up pass in the place of his Corley card. This is a very good player that you can add to your team. If you can deal with his height, um, can definitely get it done for you. Something that I did want to note was his um, throw power. I don't know if they have it here. I might have to go back a level is only 81 so if you need someone who has a very very strong arm people aren't quite as fast and um, gaps don't close quite as quickly Um, but if you do need that throw power you might want to stay away from him but he has a very very good priced card um, for his ability coming in at number three we have baker mayfield This is pretty much for a budget team, but also if you run the ball significantly, he can come in, throw those short balls very well, and also can throw those streaks. So if you have Odell on the outside and Tyreek Hill and just run the ball half most of the time, he really could be a good fit for your team. 
and he could cost almost none of your salary cap or coins and just build all the rest of your team and wait for the next great quarterback to come out or just build up your coin stack until you can get the next quarterback a week after he does come out because his price will actually be close to what it should be. Coming in at number two, we do have the Steve Young. Um, I did want to go out and double check if you could just use his legend card to make him the best quarterback in the game, but you do actually have to power him up. Um, that was thanks to Mutthead, um, Rebellious Rhino. Um, it was just something that was noted on there. Once you get him to that 82 Overall, you will have that escape artist that really helps him out and can make him um, absolutely dynamic in the pocket and outrun almost every one of your defensive linemen and really just frustrate you. So um, if you want a pocket quarterback, um, Kurt Warner is probably the best quarterback in the game for you. But the way that Mutt does play... Um, you really do want the Michael Vick, Steve Young. Even though they are left-handed, they are the best quarterbacks that really do come out. Really with Steve Young this year as well, he comes out with that speed and the throw power, so he can do pretty much everything in the pocket. As you can see, everything down the list is 86 and above, and it's closer to that 88-89 margin. Um, so just crazy good quarterback, but you do have to power him up to be the absolute best quarterback in the game. Uh, coming in at number one, we do have Patrick Mahomes. If we were just doing a straight list of quarterbacks, I would probably mark him at three. But the way things stand at this point and his abilities, um, that just comes straight with his 90 overall card. Um, I would not advise um, powering him up. Otherwise, I would probably go for a Steve Young because the cost will be a lot more uh, close together, but with this card you can get him with all of those abilities on uh, the bazooka um, So the x-factor coming along with that just straight along with the card his ability to throw um, Perfect passes in the red zone has been a huge ability to improve my offense So that is a huge boost to your team and you can do that for around 300,000 coins That is a huge um uh, that is just a huge amount of coins to throw out at a quarterback, but if you want someone that can come in and make every pass and can run with that 75 speed, I would definitely go and look at that Patrick Mahomes. So if you're on a budget, look at him. Go out and put his set together. It'll be less expensive for you. Just go through and use training for those cards. It'll help you out immensely. So that is what we have for today. Let me know if you think any other quarterbacks really have a great value um, and can be an asset to anybody else's team so we all do know. This is what I have noticed so far. Um, so I wish you all the best, and hopefully – uh, one of these quarterbacks aren't the ones that you're going up against and we can leave because it will make it a little bit more difficult. But I do uh, hope your teams are starting to get together and you can start to improve with this list. Take care. Thank you for checking into the Irish and Rantane channel. Keep coming back for more Madden knowledge. That will be consistent videos up every week, so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to see them all. Come by Twitch to engage and hit me up on Twitter at Irish Ranting. Take care and much love, everybody.